Welcome to our house building series. You know, we traveled all over Thailand and ended up settling on the province of Chumpon. We really like it here. And Chumpon is known as the gateway to the south. We're going to show you step by step the construction methods that the Thais use. And believe me, it's a lot different than what we do in the States. We're going to do some cost breakdowns so you know where your money's going here in the land of smiles. Also go over the building materials that they use here in Thailand, you know, what's available and the pros and cons. This is just part one of about a three month process. As you can see by the clouds, we're kind of in a race with the weather because it is rainy season here. So, hey you guys, keep your fingers crossed for us. Yeah, this has been in the works for a while. It's actually starting to get uh, a bit exciting for us because we're starting to do something. Uh, we've had the property here now for probably close to a year and just haven't done anything with it. Unfortunately, these are all acacia trees and they tend, the tops tend to snap off when it gets windy. We're being this close to the ocean, it does get really windy here. So it's a shame, but we'll be able to plant some other trees of our own here. And yeah, this is like day three of them cutting the trees down here. They're making some really good progress. Um, we're gonna probably save uh, some of the logs and have them milled uh, to be able to use some lumber. They're putting the logs on this trailer right here and you might ask, what are they pulling the trailer with? There you go, they're pulling with the motorcycle. There were quite a few deciding factors on buying this actual property here. It's about a half acre in Thai, it's uh, Ning Lai. Once you get back in here a little bit, it's just all palm orchards. Uh, not palm trees as far as getting coconuts from them, they're not coconut palms. Uh, they use these for palm oil. And here's the deciding factor on getting this property right here. Uh, this year, they will be redoing the road. It's gonna be gravel first, and then they're gonna put concrete on it. So we are gonna have a paved road. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best to keep you guys all updated on the progress here and see how uh, things go building here in Thailand. Exciting, we're getting all the tree stumps pulled out today and uh, getting straightened up here. And uh, within a couple weeks, we're gonna start building. Well, today's the first day we're actually going to start construction here. We went with a construction company. Kunsithlu uh, is the name of the company. Today we're going to measure everything out and uh, put some stakes in the ground exactly where the house is going to go. Hello. I am a marketing director. This is the engineer. Yeah, uh, hello. My name my name Mac. 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 That's easy for me to remember. This is the surveyor here. Hey. Help her with him. Hey, buddy. Uh, maybe not a dog fight. It's just a meet and greet. Things are definitely getting going now. Got a whole crew here. Right there, that's all for elevation. And you can see we got a pretty big difference in elevation from uh, this end to that end. It's about 70 centimeters. Now, we've got a backhoe coming today and we are going to dig for the foundation today. I've spent a good part of my life doing construction in the States and uh, the Thai way is quite different. Um, gonna be learning together on the way. Now, you may be wondering why we have this wooden perimeter up here um, it serves two purposes. It establishes heights. The second thing is, and if you can see that nail right there, there's nails that correspond with all these pins. And this is where the foundation pads are going to go. Everywhere there's one of these uh, wooden pins in the ground. You have one on this side and you have one on that side, right in line with these uh, pins right here, these stakes right here. And actually, then on that wall you have another one. So it'll crisscross right over top of all of these stakes. They won't lose the center lines. When the excavator was digging, they didn't have a laser here. 
so now they have to dig all this by hand to get it to the right level so all the footers are at the same height. A lot of holes. They're supposed to pour today around 1 o'clock, so they're doing pretty good. I think they'll have her done. Yeah, they'll pour again tomorrow, and then uh, all these cages will go in. So they're just basically pouring the base right now. The truck was supposed to be here around 1 o'clock. It's almost 5 o'clock right now. Uh, but it feels good. This is the uh, first of many concrete pours. Today we are doing a traditional Thai ceremony for uh, new construction. Uh, the Thai people believe that if you do this ceremony, you're going to be happy in your new place and uh, you're going to be prosperous. So today you're going to get to see what, uh, what the ceremony is all about. Hope you enjoy. There's our offering right there. We added a few more things to the table there. We have some sweets, some curry, some eggs. There you get a pretty good look at the rebar cage that's down inside the hole. We've got gold. We've got money. It's a puffed rice. Look, kind of look like popcorn. Well, they're tying off on the uh, cage down below, keeping it over the center line. When you see the columns going up, you really feel like something's getting done. We're making some progress now. So this is uh, according to Thai tradition here that the one that you see right there is Sao Ek. That's the first pole. Sao To, that's the second pole. Then they'll start putting the rest of them in. All handmade. Yeah, living in a setting like this isn't for everyone, but uh, I like it. Check out the sound system here in the uh, project manager's truck. Got some subs right there. Whether you're new to our channel or back for more, do us a big favor to help YouTube get our content out there. Hit that like and subscribe button.